I think you know what's next. And it's a doozy of a Colossus. Unfortunately, this is actually take two, because I had an audio issue, and for some reason my controller kept disconnecting. So, I checked my connections and restarted the whole system, and here we go again. <laughs> I don't know what happened, had there been something with the PlayStation 2, but here we go. Number 15, Argus. Yeah, it's it can be pretty long. That that time can be burned off very very quickly. But hopefully that won't be the case. Let's hope that I get this because I don't need another run on this. <laughs> Argus is a pain. We all know Argus is a pain. And let's just try and reduce that pain as much as possible. <laughs> So I'm going to get over to this one here, just because it's the closest one, and then I'm going to center myself on the platform, turn myself around, and get him to hopefully bash the platform and boost me up to the top. Hopefully is the key word. By the way, it's got another hidden vital on hard mode. It's over on uh, his... yeah, this side right here that I'm shooting at. So I'll do a little bit of damage by doing this. And, uh, so we gotta take care of that one as well, and honestly, the one on his chest, the new one, is probably the hardest vital, uh, to deal with, so that, that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should actually go for the chest one first, but I don't know, I mean, I'll, I'll be right up next to the head once I jump on top of him, after all, so... I'll probably go head, and then knock off the sword, you know, that he holds, and then go for the chest one. And then the one on the hand. Hopefully. Because <laughs> the thing, thing is that you gotta do this all pretty quick and he, there's nothing about him that is quick. Oh, he is being kind of helpful though. Yeah! Like, like things are working out pretty well right now, speed wise. Let's go up. And yeah, with all RNG, this is going pretty well. I'll even accept that I didn't quite get on the block on my first try there, and that I fell off the tops of these on my first try here, but that only because I've got the good RNG working for me right here. Uh, and actually, I should have the, yeah, the bow back out, because I still need to shoot at him to break the bridge. Yeah, hello over here. <laughs> It's much easier to get on top of him when he breaks the bridge because he seems more inclined to go underneath it or around it when the bridge is destroyed. Well, it is possible to get on him without destroying the bridge. It's just so, so much easier to do so with the bridge gone. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to really mess with what we've got going here. So, you know, just kind of endure the shockwave. See, I took a little damage from that. Pretty much every one of his moves causes damage to you, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference because... Yeah, I'm turning around here. Because, um... Your, your health recovers automatically and whatnot, so yeah. A little closer... Okay, get stabbing immediately! And I do mean immediately because he shakes around a lot! And I do mean a lot. It's ridiculous how much he shakes around. So let's not even mess around and just try and get whatever type kind of damage we can possibly get on him. Because when he starts shaking, we are going to start losing time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm somehow getting a pretty good run here. I don't know how I'm doing this, but maybe I just got things just right timing-wise. I'm not not gonna complain though, because this is this is fantastic. I got the first one! Oh yeah! Okay. Now I gotta get over to the arm to make him knock his sword off. Eh. He's starting to shake. Eh. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Ah, shaking! Shaking is vicious. Shaking is not time attack worthy. Eh. This is where all the time goes when he starts these shaking sprees like this. Eh. And even his foot, his feet movements cause shockwaves that make me shake when going on his body, <laughs> like hanging around his body. Come on, come on, come on! Just want to get to this spot ASAP. Drop, drop, drop! Oh, jeez, that was close. I almost missed the opportunity to drop there. Ah, there we go. All right, all right, things are going 
pretty well. I'm feeling pretty excited. See, uh, at this point when I have so much time left, I can actually go back up on top of them if need be. Because I have so much time now. So, yeah, let's just try and get that chest one partially knocked out, and then I guess I'll go for the hand, and then back up to the chest. That seems like my best opportunity. Uh, no shakies, no shakies. Okay, I gotta get to the other side, hop over the spine, and oh, no! <laughs> okay, oh! That was almost bad. Oh! Good, 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 very good. Ah! I just wanted to drop off and land on the spot. Climb down a little bit more, Wander. You gotta be a little bit closer. Yeah, for some reason when he shakes you, he actually shakes you up his body somehow. I don't know how he does this, but it's incredibly disruptive. Mm. Mm. Yes! Come on, come on, come on. Stop it, stop shaking. No more shaking. Mm. Yes, feel the pain. Take out the vital wonder! Come on, come on, come on! Things are going so well! You cannot... You cannot let this go, because it's going so well. Well, I'll, I'll probably let go and do his hand, and then go back up to the, uh, the chest to do another round at this, because I wasn't able, really able to recover much of my stamina when I was up there. So yeah, I don't really care too much if I fall off at this point. Uh, and I should... But... Ah! The controller again, what the heck? Uh, ah, mm, hold on. Okay, I hope there's nothing going wrong with my controller here. But anyway, alright, so, as per a tip-off that I've got, I can get onto his hand a little bit quicker by, hopefully, him slamming his hand on the ground, and then I'll be able to get onto the hand that way. So let's see if he'll do it. Gotta be a certain distance away for him to want to use his hand, though, so... Just gotta kinda hang out here, maybe by his sword, and let him have a good time walking around, because I'm faster than him. he eventually be like, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wah! Okay, get on the palm. Good. Alright, now, thank you for that tip. Because <laughs> it's a pain to get on his hand the higher routes. Alright, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. We got plenty of time to do this. Please dual shock. No failing me. <laughs> okay, that one's gone. That one's gone. Alright, and this is the one that I believe he was rampaging on before. So that means the walls have been already shook down. So now I just gotta repeat the cycle, get back on his chest, and stab it to death in under 4 minutes and 41 seconds. I mean, 51 seconds, excuse me. Why did I say 41? I guess I have 4 on the brain. Can I do damage all the way from down here to kill it off? Probably not! <laughs> okay, like, just, just please get this... Yes, thank you! I was gonna say, please don't miss. Because sometimes he doesn't want to stomp at that and it stinks. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, here we go. I know where its vitals are! I was, I was at every single point that has vitals on, Dorman. You've seen me! Dang it! <laughs> if you're talking to me now and think I have issues, you probably need some glasses. Alright, here we go. This could be... the end. This could be it. Do not mess up now, PK Gam. Because you got plenty of time to pull this off. Uh, and... Yeah! <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna drop a little bit. Ooh! <laughs> I'm gonna purposefully drop a little, and then get stabbing. Yeah! woo Thank you, DualShock, for holding up. I don't know what's up with the controller. Maybe there's, like, dust in the connectors or something like that, because... I've been plugging it in and unplugging it to play Dance Dance Revolution a lot lately. Because I have to keep switching controllers from the Dual Shock to the Dance Pads connectors. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, I'll, I'll take an air can to it or something. <laughs> but it's over. I, I'm done. No, no more Argus. That makes me happy. <laughs> And that went so much better than it did in my uh, 
failed on with the controller issue and the sound issue that I had and whatnot. So that that makes me ex like excessively happy too because uh, you know I, there's this thing that's got to appear and then I got to show off whatever it is and you know yeah it's got to have a little extra time on the parts to be able to show it off promptly. All right, what's our prize this time, Dorman? That is the cloth of desperation. Use it when thou hast fallen off a colossus. Uh, basically, you can use it to break your fall, and thou art in peril. I forgot how to use it, though, like which button it is. I think it's R1, actually. Uh, when you're in the air and you'll be able to use it. I'll, once I equip it, I'll be able to see right away. Uh, Alright, cutscene. End off, please, because I gotta go into the menu to turn around. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna jump. And yeah, okay, yeah, it's R1. So basically, you can use this to break your fall. But, as you can tell, it's not the speediest of things. <laughs> So, it's just there to prevent you from having fall damage. Why I remember it as R1 is because of when you are on a Colossus and you're falling off of it, um, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll hit R1 to try and grab onto the Colossus, but instead I'll use the cloth because, you know, I'm falling and I think I'm going to grab onto a part of the Colossus, but I'm not, or something, and then I just end up going, Wee! like this instead looks like a nice maze or something like that but anyway <laughs> with that i'm gonna end off the part here i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next part i'm so happy this is over and it went better than phaedra ah oh!